Hello all. Alright, a little warm outside, really windy. Have to do the video inside. So, there was a democratic debate among the different candidates that are running for 2020. Bernie Sanders was one of them. He promised that if this bloated U.S. defense spending bill came up, that he would vote against it. That's what he said in the debate. I heard him. I saw him say that. Well, let's go over to the board and see how he lied about that. So, the U.S. at present is bombing nine different countries, either directly or indirectly, by adding support and backup to the country that is bombing, such as Saudi Arabia bombing Yemen. We're doing all the support work, the radar, the targeting, all that. We're just not dropping the bombs. We have somebody else do the dirty work. For every one dollar that the U.S. spends, 60 cents of it goes to the new military budget. $738 billion for one year's military spending and only $632 billion for everything else. Schools, Medicare, retirement, environmental protection, everything else is less than our military spending. But who put this budget into place? Was it the Republicans? No. Yes, it was the Democrats. 219 yeses to only 16 noes. Bernie Sanders and many of the other progressive Democrats didn't even vote. They were out looking for votes for 2020. So the U.S. immediately pulled out of the IMS treaty and is eager to start deploying short and long-term missiles into Asia countries. Now, do you guys know of any other job on the planet where you can go out and look for another job while you're in another job in a different job so you can look for another job and still get paid on the job that you're not working at but the u.s government works that way you can become senator and then go and look for another job while you're not doing your job as a senator only in the u.s something else but where could we be putting all this money well there's so many other places the u.s could put that kind of money how about a Department of Peace? The reason we need this money for other things is because the planet is getting ready to self-destruct. We're about ready to go off a cliff, catastrophically. Let's go take a look at the board and see what's happening. The Earth has seen its hottest month it has ever seen, and that is July. But between 2015 to 2019, we have seen the five warmest, hottest years on record. So there's been new heat records just in the last month. Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, France, and Luxembourg all saw record high temperatures. So climate scientists say that we saw 1.5 to 3 degrees C hotter temperatures due to climate change in these last few heat waves. They're saying that there has been exceptionally intense heat waves in 2003, 2010, 2015, 2017, 2018, and now 2019. Anything to see here? July saw unprecedented melting of Greenland's ice. Huge numbers are coming out on the amount of melting per second. It's amazing. So what happens if we go to 1.5 C above pre-industrial levels. We will see a lot of crop loss, problems for humans, fighting wars over water. But if we see a two degree C above pre-industrial levels, we will see a disaster. And what happens if we see a, a four degree C rise in temperatures? Catastrophe. The planet dies. We die. A horrible, fiery death. Things will begin to burn, forests, buildings. Winds will pick up and we will all be roasted to death. This is the reality. Our politicians all over the world are in absolute denial of what the science is saying. And they're still saying there's no such thing as global climate change. And it does seem as if they do believe that. And here's another reason why. Here in the U.S., we put protections on animals that are 
close to extinction. Well, the grizzly bear is becoming extinct all over the world. Here in the U.S. we put some protections on the grizzly bear so they don't become extinct. But no, the Republicans don't want that protection for the grizzly bear. Dick Cheney's wife, you remember Dick Cheney in the Bush era here in the U.S.? Elizabeth Cheney is saying that putting protections on animals is against the U.S. way of life. In other words, because our way of life is killing, we shouldn't put protections on endangered species. Killing is a way of life here in the U.S. for pleasure. People actually hunt for pleasure, for killing other animals that are about 96% the same as we are. All humans are 99.6% the same. Animals aren't much different. We're all sort of the same species, but yet we kill other animals because they look different from us and we just don't care. Every time we're hungry, we eat an animal. That means that we kill an animal every time we eat meat. But humans don't seem to care much. I certainly care much, and I know a lot of you watchers care a lot about this. That's why you spend so much time writing messages on environmental issues. The Pink appreciates you and knows that you, we couldn't do it without you. Please put the message out there. The climate catastrophe is just around the corner and we act as if there's nothing wrong at all. Just a few hot days. So I definitely do read all the comments on, on all my videos that are coming in now. They're coming in rather quickly on all the videos. Apparently YouTube had put a, some kind of moratorium on my video against commenting but it seems to be open and okay to comment now they keep putting people in spam i keep taking them out keep putting your comments on there we're not giving up yet remember anything past 1.5 c is a death sentence for every one of us do whatever you can do to avoid that stop driving so much stop eating meat and study what your politicians are doing so that you don't keep putting in the same stupid ignorant, partying politicians that we have now. I appreciate all the ups, the downs, the shares, and the new subscribers. Until next time.